Hey guys, Kier here from 50 Shades of Mom, back with my Tuesday night grocery haul and meal plan video for you. It's a little unconventional, this grocery haul. I'm going to be just bouncing from a couple of stores. I don't really need much of anything from one specific place. So I did some couponing shopping today in Bilo and just a couple of things from Food Lion. I am going to go to Walmart tomorrow, which you guys will see right after this, but only a couple of items from there as well because I plan on an Aldi's trip in the middle of the week. So Again, a lot of this was couponing. I got all of this stuff at Bilo. I paid $30 at the register, but there's like six or no, $7.50 in rebates. So you're not gonna beat all this for $22.50. So let me show you guys what I got. So they had a deal on their Pepsi. It was three for nine. And then they had a $1 digital off coupon. And then I, Saving Star has a dollar and Ibotta has a dollar. So you end up getting each 12 pack for $12. So um, they definitely go, Daryl loves to take one of these on his drive to work. When they do this puff steal, I jump all over it because Bilo is the only grocery store that doubles any coupon less than a dollar. So these puffs tissues were on sale this week for 99 cents and I had a 50 cent off coupon. So I made a penny off of each one of these. So I'm gonna send two of these in with Jake for school and keep the two Vix ones here that I love, but I made four cents and got four boxes of tissue. So you can't beat that. These 32 ounce Gatorades were on sale for 70 cents. Like that is to me amazing for the big 32 ounce one. So I picked up five of them. I got a cool blue, a citrus cooler, an orange, a lemon lime, and a fruit punch. The Ronzoni macaroni was on sale. Buy one, get one free. So it was two for $1.50. So can't beat 75 cents a box for these. And I just noticed that now Ronzoni is advertising that they are non-GMO also, so that makes me super happy. So I, um, I got the bow ties and then a box of the spaghetti. These were on sale two for four and there's a rebate on Ibotta, so that's an awesome deal. And the kids tear up these mandarin oranges. So I got uh, two packages of those. This big bag of Gala apples was on sale for $1.99, so I grabbed that. 30 cents a pound for bananas. That's a great, great deal. So I picked up a big bundle of those. This um, cold brew picked this up again before the Ibotta rebate went away and my coupon expired. Now it was not on sale. I did not get as good of a deal as I got on this last time. So this was $4.50. Last time I only paid $2.50 for this whole box. But it makes two pitchers. I just made it and it's absolutely amazing. Tastes just, just like Dunkin' Donuts cold brew and it literally will get you one 16 ounce cup a day for seven days. So you're not beating $2 and change for a Dunkin' Donuts coffee once a day for a week. So I will continue to keep buying these because they are super good. So that was all that I got from Bilo, but that was pretty good for what I spent. And then at Food Lion, it only cost me $5, but that's because these were two for five and I had a dollar off and then cucumbers were two for a dollar. So I picked up two cucumbers. Now the Oreos I need for a DIY. So um, I picked up the two packs of them. Jake's excited, he thinks he's eating them all, but he's so not. Uh, I'm doing a lot of like graveyard, dirt, DIY stuff for Halloween. So I need the Oreos. And there are my two cucumbers out of the bag. And that is it guys. So I will see you back here tomorrow with what I got from Walmart. Okay guys, can you believe it? This is it for my Sunday night grocery haul. I don't think you guys have ever seen one so little. Um, but I just needed a couple of items. I mean, honestly, between this and what I spent in the earlier clips, I came in at just around $40 for the week with groceries, which is perfect because I just spent like $400 last week at Trader Joe's and BJ. So this ended up helping me kind of get back on track for budget, which is why I try and do it that way. Um, so I did get my paper for some coupons. I got my white distilled vinegar. I did not get this from BJ's. I forgot. So uh, I picked it up here and I needed that for my laundry. Just one gallon of milk. We still have some from BJ's. So uh, I just needed one to get me through the week. Um, I did get this Grey Poupon Country Dijon 
coarse ground mustard. I felt all fancy buying this, but I had a really good coupon uh, for this, so now I'm going to use that for a recipe this week. Uh, I need another can of cream of mushroom soup, the one you guys saw in the earlier clip I used to make the cowboy casserole, which was absolutely phenomenal. Um, and now I need one for this meal plan. So I picked up another one. I got some organic thyme leaves. I need that for some recipes. And then this is just a great value pudding cups. We don't often buy this, but I'm using this for just like a cute little DIY. I should be like vlog vlogging the day tomorrow and doing some kind of fun Halloween things to show you guys what you could do with your kids. So I needed this and this to go with that. And that was it. So it was $12.85 after coupons and rebates. So check the description box and it'll be a breakdown for where we are this month with budget. And then here is the meal plan for this week, Tuesday, October the 17th through Monday, October the 23rd. Now you guys are going to see in the next couple of weeks a bunch of change of plans and squiggles and arrows because with my mom coming, I was trying to like plan the rest of the month and yeah, it did not work out. <laughs> so um, like this got moved to Monday. So now um, what we are actually having today, Tuesday the 17th is beef tips and gravy in the crock pot with over noodles and some corn. And then on Wednesday, we're going to do a new recipe, this brown sugar pineapple chicken. I'm going to do that with coconut rice and broccoli. And then on Thursday is my birthday. I got to use my little birthday sticker. And I wrote Paul loves me here because Daryl has to work all day. He has like some big wigs coming into his job. So he's pretty much working open to close. So I did not want to be by myself on my birthday. And he said that I should not cook and I should not clean, which means he's a wonderful friend. So he's going to be my shopping date that day. We're going to do some shopping and he's going to take me to Red Lobster and we'll come back for cake. Uh, and then on Friday, this is another new recipe, cheesy chicken Alfredo casserole with salad. And then Saturday is mine and Daryl's five-year wedding anniversary. So um, I want to do something special. He's actually closing again. They needed him for work, so he actually won't be home. But I want to leave him something really nice when he gets home to eat. So I'm going to bacon wrap those steaks that I got from last week and make the uh, scalloped potatoes. I found that recipe on Pinterest with some sautéed zucchini. And then on Sunday for football, we're going to do beefy enchiladas with nachos. And then what was supposed to be Monday got moved and back and forth. So what we're really supposed to have Monday is the what I'm using that mustard for, which is these Dijon pork chops and potatoes in the crock pot with carrots. So, so many new recipes, the pork chops, the brown sugar pineapple chicken, the cheesy chicken Alfredo, um, the scalloped potatoes, and the beef tips and gravy. Those are all Pinterest recipes because I'm over pinning stuff and just never using it. So make sure you check the description box below for any of these recipes. I appreciate you guys as always for watching. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, stick around. I post a meal plan and grocery haul every Tuesday and I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna get a bonus video today because I need to go to Aldi's cause I forgot I need eggs. So, and juice boxes and it's just the cheapest to go there. So you guys may actually get a bonus video again today as well. So thank you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.